Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to carry out some advanced calculations on your shipping fees. So now I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add some fees to your shipping fee to for every product for each product or each particular categories of products you can actually set a particular fees you want to actually charge for each product so we will be showing you go, without much waste of time let's just get into the tutorial today i'm going to be showing you how to do all these calculations and settings all right first thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to head over to my website i'm going to go to where i have my work commerce go to settings i'm going to click on the settings then it's going the settings is going the work command settings is going to open up you can see it's already up so now this is um where i'm going to set every the address of the store so i'm actually going to now we are dealing on shipping so i'm going to go to where i have my shipping then click on shipping then once I click on shipping, it opens up. You can see we have shipping zones. We have shipping option. We have shipping. This, you have, these are the three you are going to actually see. Shipping zones, shipping option, and shipping classes. So now let me, I'm going to, actually I created a zone here before. So I'm going to delete the zone and show you how to, how I created it again. So I'm going to add, once you click on add shipping zone, you are going to click on add shipping zone then from here it's going to open up then you come to where you have yeah this is where you can enter the name of the zone i'm still going to make this of the worldwide let me say i'm going to worldwide is the zone i want to name it you can name it whatever you want to name it perhaps you want to actually just make your sales only to a specific location let me say you want to sell only to africa so you can actually maybe just name it anything you want to do and probably select the region you want to actually sell to but for my case in this particular tutorial we are going to be selling worldwide so i'm not going to actually select a particular location i mean or zone so you can actually limit by using zip code or postcode now I'm going to, once I do that, I'm going to come to where I have add shipping option. So I'm going to click on add shipping option. We have several options, local pick, pickup, shipping, free shipping, and uh, flat rate. I'm going to choose flat rate, then add shipping option. So once I do that, I'm going to wait for it. It's going to actually add. So if you open it, you see this is what we are having now. So now what I'm going to do now, I already have some classes i created already but before now i'm going to come over, head over to this place let me show you something here on my shipping option i'm going to on my shipping option you can see a uh, shipping option ensure i'm actually going to be using height ship i'm going to select this height shipping uh, cost until the address is entered so it is only when the person actually enters the address that is when the cost is going to be implemented then set the set the fault to customer billing address and ensure you save that. Then I'm going to look on our shipping classes. As I said earlier, I actually added some shipping classes to this particular this website. So now I'm going to actually remove all of them and show you how to add them again. I will be adding them again. So I'm going to on here when we have ship. I'm going to click on add shipping classes. Then I'm going to add a class. You can see from my website now, I have some products here on my website. So what I'm actually going to do is to head, now we have bracelets, we have handbag, we have um, shorts, we have jeans. So I'm going to add those here to particular. So I'm going to start with, let's say bags, I have bags. Then I'm going to copy it and add it to the slots here. You can add description, but I'm going to leave it like that. Then click on save. Then once that you can see it's already there, so I'm going to add another one. I'm going to 
say, let's say short let me say female short uh, let me say female short because I actually have short before so that's why I want to use film f short so I'm going to do it like that and enter the stuff here then save now we have to now then I'm going to add another one then I have let's say I want to use um, Bracelets. See, bracelets. Bracelet. Let me see. Also, female bracelet. Okay. So I'm going to add the slot, slot also, and save it. Then I think the last one I'm having here is let me see jeans. Yeah. Okay. I will also make it female jeans okay this is what I've added the slots the classes to actually this website so now I'm going to after adding these classes now we are going to now go to where we have our shipping zone go back to where we have our shipping zone so on the shipping zone now we are going to scroll down to where we have the worldwide that we created so we are going to edit it once you edit that particular shipping zone you are going to have come to where we have our flat rate then edit it now on the flat i want to change this i can change it now i want to let me say i want to add something like this dhl large say so let's say this is what i want to have here so now i want to name you can name it whatever you want to name it me, I decide, I decide to name it this. So now I'm going to now, one thing you should notice on this, we have costs here. Now if you hover over it, you can see it has actually have some functions, it's actually telling you here, too, in case you want to know what it is. Now you can see all the whole shipping classes we added is actually here. So you can see that we have zero dollar here, we have zero here. So now we are going to add some functions to I mean, some a kind of function to this particular web um, settings here. You can see where we have our zero. If I should add something like 10, if I should make this 10, you, what this means is that it's going to add $10 or 10 naira, $10 to whatsoever price we are actually going to be having per of object. Let's say if this cost of this is $130. Is going to add ten dollar to this at the end of this, so it is to we now be having at the total final payment will now be something like one hundred and forty dollars. But now, if I should do this, it's going to apply the same thing to this. But now, let's say each and every one of them we want to give a sp uh, different shipping fee for each and every one of them. So to do that, I'm going to leave this place as zero now come to this particular place this is where we are going to add our logic to each and every of them so now i'm going to let me say for example i want to add two fields two fields to this now let me open up my text file and let me see i want to add a shipping fee of let me say shipping fee let me say shipping fee of let me say i want to add shipping fee for of let me say Twelve five plus. Now we have two. Let me say two. And let me copy that. Paste, paste, paste. Now I'm going to now let's say this are uh, and let's say the tax for this is three and let me say this is twelve and the tax for this is let's say five and let me say this is fifteen and the tax for this is four. Let me see. This is how. Let me see. This one is the first one we are having here. Let me see. The first one here should be for that. This should be for that of the bags, and this should be for that of the bracelets, and this should be for that of the shorts. I mean, the jeans and the other one for the shorts. That is what I'm going to do now. So now, this is the shipping fee, and these are like the tax we are actually charging for these goods. So now, if I should just enter this like this, okay, because we are going to sum this, so which is equal to seven. This is seven, 
and this is equal to 10 why this side we are having it to be equal to something i think this is equal to 17 so and this is equal to 19. so now from what we are having here you can see that when we come over to this particular side now i'm going to I actually sort them so that i won't be having too much figures to calculate here so i'm going to be using seven we have seven ten so we have seven ten seven ten eighteen nineteen now i'm going to use add the formulas this asterisk then i'm going to be making use of this then multiply by the quantity so what this actually means is that it's going to take add seven dollar to every quantity they are actually buying if a user decides to buy a one quantity is going to add seven dollar to it if it's going to be two quantities yes it's going to multiply this by two and add it to the quantity so that is how it's actually going to do uh, do the calculation so let's see how it goes so i'm going to do something like that here now so these are actually what i have added here added each of these to each item so now let's try and save it i'm going to actually save it and show you how this look like when i click on save it's going to update now once i do this it doesn't end because if i go to the uh, next thing i'm going to do i'm going to go to my product come to all products okay once we are in all products what we are i'm going to go down these are all my products so I'm going to edit each and every one of them. So I will just edit each and every one of them. Edit. Now head over to them. Now I'm going to okay. This is the actual. Before I do that, let me go to my few cards. I want to remove all my cards. So I want to empty the cards so that you will see how everything will look like. Okay, for this, I'm going to we have jeans. This is jeans, so I'm going to add this to what I'm going to actually trying to do now. I'm going to go to where I have my shipping. You can see no shipping class, so I'm going to add this. This was a jeans, I'm going to add it to a jean class. So I'm going to add this to jean class. So jean, then save this. Once I do this. Class has been, that class has been added so those fees are actually set it's going to be added to this particular item so i'm going to go to the next one this is shorts i'm going to add it to shorts class i'm going to add it to the shorts class then update then on the third one also i'm going to add this is bracelets i'm going to go to shipping and add this to bracelet so say then the last one is actually handbag this is handbag then i'm going to go to shipping and add it to bags so update this so once i've done updated the website now my cart is actually empty there's nothing on my cart right now so let's see if i should select this particular product 150 dollars for this and this is 130 dollars so i'm going to be making use of these two since they have two different prices let's see how it it will go let me start with this 130 dollar this is short so let's see how it's the price is actually going to add to this let's see how this goes so this is my short so i'm actually going to add this to cut when i add to cut it's going to actually add this this is one item so it's going to be one so let's see how it goes adding to cut that's added to cut so now if i go to view my cut i should view my cut now you are going to see how my cut will actually look like okay this is so this is how my cat actually looks like you can see we have already because i was 
using is actually added my so this is the shipping fee is actually added to this particular goods so now the original price of this goods was this but after adding the shipping fee of this particular product we now have this has a final amount so when you proceed for payment to our checkout this is the amount the user is actually going to pay okay now that is that but what if i decide to increase the price of this note this is 19 is adding to this and the quantity the original price is this now let's see what if i decide to add increase the amount of the goods let me say i make it to the two and i update my cards let's see how how much we will, we will now be having so now so now we are now having the total goods remember there are two so we are having 260 dollars now my shipping fee was multiplied by two so we are now having this which adding up is now giving me this amount of money so now let's try it for the second goods so now i'm going to empty my uh, cart and empty my cart Now I'm going to enter my cards. Okay, my cart is empty. I'm returning back to my store. So let me add the other products, which is $450. Let me add any of this. Let me okay, let me add the bracelet. So I'm going to click on bracelet. So now this is that for the bracelet. Okay, now I'm going to increase this amount to let's say something like six. So now multiplying this by four. Okay, by multiplying by this by four, we are expected to have like six hundred dollars for this particular product. So I'm going to add four of this item to this. So let's see. If you're still watching this video and you've not yet considered subscribing to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. So you can see on my cart, I have it at $600. So let me view cart. Now, once I view the cart, you're going to see that it's going to calculate my shipping fee into four places, $600. So my shipping fee was calculated. My shipping fee on this particular product was supposed to be, let's say, on the pay. For that, I think I said it should be $10 for that. That was why it multiplied it by four to give me forty dollars so adding to that is now four six hundred and forty dollars so this is just how you can be able to set this up so i believe you might have actually learned a lot from this tutorial if you have any question or you have any other video idea you want me to work on you can actually drop in the comments box below i'll try my best to answer until next time bye for now Oh, 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 oh,